Good morning, family. Welcome to today's Lessons for Life. Today is Wednesday, February 18, 2009. And today we're reading Numbers, chapter 25. And uh, as I'm reading, <clears throat> I always encourage you to read it through for yourself because it's really so much stuff that we can get from reading the Word of God. But as I even mentioned before, uh, what I'm doing is really looking out for the things that we can learn the lesson, uh, a positive lesson from. Because um, that's of more value to us, as I mentioned earlier uh, in the previous lessons for life. It's more valuable for us to learn the lesson of things that we should do. But uh, one thing that stuck out to me as I was reading even this chapter today uh, of something that is positive and the Lord actually commented on was what uh, Phinehas had done. And what the Lord said was that he was zealous uh, for the things of God. He was zealous, and that was a word that was used. And, you know, I. I, I that was not a word I use, I guess, in regular, everyday uh, speaking. And I, I can understand when someone says it in what context it means, but I actually decided to look in the dictionary to see exactly what is the exact definition of the word zealous. And it says enthusiastic diligence. Enthusiastic diligence. So we need to be enthusiastically diligent concerning the things of God, even as the Lord commented or commended even Phinehas uh, about being zealous for God, he even was able to stop the plague, and even what he said was he was going to give him a covenant of peace. So as long as we're enthusiastically diligent concerning things of the Lord, then we'll have peace in our lives. Uh, sometimes we are enthusiastically diligent concerning things of, let's say, of making uh, money. That's one thing a lot of people are enthusiastically diligent. They might be, you know, working hard every day, working, you know, 20 hours, or well, 20 hours a day is an uh, exaggeration, but, um, you know, working hard to, to make that money. But we need to get our priorities right and really be enthusiastically diligent concerning the things of God, and then we'll have peace. Because a lot of times when we're diligent about other things, you know, we might just have more trouble, more turmoil, more confusion in our minds or in our, and in our uh, everyday activities. But if we're enthusiastically diligent, then we'll have peace, even as the Lord even said uh, unto Phinehas. So that's something I saw as I was reading this chapter. Uh, once again... I really want you to read it too for yourself and email us. We'll put it on the blog, whatever you get from it. But continue to create yourself a wonderfully blessed day today. Be zealous concerning the things of the Lord. Be enthusiastically diligent concerning the things that the Lord would have for you to do. Um, and create yourself a wonderfully blessed day. Talk to you tomorrow.